not a meek campfire, but a giant bonfire in the woods. I met this woman who's a breath of fresh air, the kind of air that fills your lungs and makes you feel like you're floating. I met this woman whose presence is as calming as the ocean, like the sound of crashing waves that makes you forget everything except that moment. I met this woman in the most unexpected of places where the real magic happens. All I had to do was lift my head up and there I saw her staring back at me. Um, up on the third floor. Her name was Miss Jenkins, and I guess she was retiring. So we sang a little song to her to show her our appreciation. I'm going to sing you a stanza of it. <laughs> because I think it's only a stanza anyway. But uh, I should probably stand back here. Can you still hear me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, because of you, I had no worries. Because of you, I'm standing tall. Because of you, I had the strength to answer all my people's call. I want you to know this, and it's all because of you. <laughs> That's to all the women in my life and your life. It's all because of them. Period. All right. Montclair Mentor Club. Um, yeah, if you guys have high school age students, or even if you are interested in coming to our meetings, we have some flyers over there. Would love to see you. Um, I chose a poem today by Lucille Clifton. It's called Won't You Celebrate With Me? I thought this was a really interesting poem. I have found it online. So, yeah. Um, Won't you celebrate with me what I have shaped into? A kind of life I had no model. Born in Babylon, both non white and woman. What did I see except to be myself? I made it up here on this bridge between starshine and clay, my one hand holding tight, my other hand saying, come celebrate with me, that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. Thank you. We're happy to have found Montclair Mutual Aid and to be part of this and really, you know, feel that community. And I think I wanted to read this poem, and I actually think it speaks to what we are trying to build. Um, this is a poem written by Sahir Hamad. She is a woman born in Jordan to uh, parents who are Palestinian refugees, and then uh, who uh, came over to Brooklyn. And um, this, po this poem is called, What I Will. I will not dance to your war drum. I will not dance to your war drum. I will not lend my soul nor my bones to your war drum. 
I will not dance to your beating. I know that beat. It is lifeless. I know intimately that skin you're hitting. It was alive once, hunted, stolen, stretched. I will not dance to your drummed up war. I will not pop spin beat break for you. I will not hate for you or even hate you. I will not kill for you. Especially, I will not die for you. I will not mourn the dead with murder nor suicide. I will not sit, I will not side with you nor dance to bombs because everyone else is dancing. Everyone can be wrong. Life is a right, not collateral or casual. I will not forget where I come from. I will craft my own drum. Gather my beloved near and our chanting will be dancing. Our humming will be drumming. I will not be played. I will not lend my name nor my rhythm to your beat. I will dance and resist and dance and persist and dance. This heartbeat is louder than death. Your war drum ain't louder than this breath. In her mind a glow with chaos. I cannot reach her, but I will always try, like salmon swimming upstream. I will always try. She walks in beauty, and I walk asynchronously, but our paths converge somewhere in this universe. Thank you. Okay, I got another poem. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
songs burn endlessly into the past. There was nothing more for me to ponder there. I shower in the morning. Water hits my back and arms still littered, littered with paint from the night, melting off my skin. Old roaches battered by the pitter patter of October rain. I remember the birds, songs kissing the earth, a frenzy of skin and color alive in the October rain. Thank you. This is Ginny again. I know a lot of women, maybe most of us, struggle with our bodies and how we feel about our bodies. And as a large-hipped woman, I was really glad to come across this poem when I was a teenager. It made a real big difference for me. It's called Homage to My Hips by Lucille Clifton. These hips are big hips. They need space to move around in. They don't fit into little petty places. These hips are free hips. They don't like to be held back. These hips have never been enslaved. They go where they want to go. They do what they want to do. These hips are mighty hips. These hips are magic hips. I have known them to put a spell on a man and spin him like a top. Period. <laughs> the 
argued for. Part of you wants to say, of course you are. Don't ever question it. And the other part, the part that is clawing at you, will want to grab her by her shoulder, look straight into the wells of her eyes until they echo back to you and say, you do not have to be if you don't want to. It is not your job. Both will feel right. One will feel better. She will only understand the first. When she wants to cut her hair off or wear her brother's clothes, you will feel the words in your mouth like marble. You do not have to be pretty. If you don't want to, it is not your job. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Um, and I'm going to read a poem by Sharon Olds, who is one of my favorite poets. Um, and I chose a poem in honor of Montclair Mutual Aid's IL-7 project and Montclair High School Menstrual Club. And the poem's called Poem X, and it's by Sharon Olds. It is an art, a craft, a kind of home X, slowly pulling out the small rubber dome, this time almost full of blackish blood. It is like war or surgery without weapons or instruments. The darkness of it has the depth of truth. The clots are shocking and thrilling in their shapes. I do what some might do in their last days, knowing they will never have another chance. I rub my palms with it, and I want to go across my face once in ritual streaks, but my glasses are on, and I'm in a slight panic, seeing my reddened lifelines. For a moment, while I still can, I want to eat a dot of it, but not the bitterness of spermicide, or a sperm dead of spermicide. Many millions have been killed today. I hold my hands out to the mirror over the sink, a moment, like a killer showing her nature. Then left hand to hot, right to cold, I turn on the tap. And blood turns out to be flecks suspended in water, the washy down of a red hen. I feel that the dead would be glad to come back for one moment of this. In me, the dead come back for a moment to the honor and the glory. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the beautiful poems. Um, it's a beautiful day and we're all here celebrating Women's Day, but I just wanted to take one moment to honor black trans women who have been murdered this year um, because oftentimes they are left out of Women's Day celebrations when they never should be. So I just wanted to take a second to honor them on this beautiful day. So I'm just going to read um, some names of women. Tiana Davarea Alexander. Bianca Muffin Banks. Dominique Jackson. 50 Bands. Alexis Kimmy Icon Braxton. China Carrillo. And Jenna Franks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a beautiful politician that read two of what have been, but I cannot keep myself from laughing at an anecdote about a beaver and his pile of wood, and how I made a reference to a nipple in a poem once, and how Tolstoy might have felt when he believed the devil to exist in his writing. I can't control you, little red tulips, or the woman beneath my skin howling with laughter. Thank you. <laughs>